Hey, me again. Uh, just had a few thoughts that I wanted to share about the YouTube Partner Program that I'm being removed from. After 11 years of being on the platform, uploading a lot of videos, and sure, I've made a few bucks over the years, and I'm going to reveal those figures for you in a, in a moment. But really why I'm a little bit ticked off about the whole thing, and it's not because of the money. I don't need the money, to be honest. I, I don't want for anything. I've got a great life and I don't need any more money. It was just the fact that I've been on the platform for 11 years. I've always followed the rules. I have um, an outstanding community ranking. I don't have any strikes and it feels like I'm being sort of punished even though uh, I've been a good YouTuber. And the other thing is I'm also verified. So Google knows who I am via Google+. Plus. I do have a verified tick on my account. I also run a Google partner company. So I actually make a lot of money for Google helping them connect with advertisers. And we, I actively go out to pursue advertising money for Google. And we've made Google millions and millions of dollars over the years. Uh, now, I'm in this weird position where if I have a client who wants to advertise on my videos, which I do, um, and I get demonetized or removed from the YouTube Partner Program, I, I can't even sell space on my own channel. The Adpocalypse created a situation where the advertisers that we represent can't have their ads on really prime YouTube real estate that YouTube decided was demonetized or not available to advertise on. Now we have plenty of advertisers which have no problem advertising on controversial or edgy content. So I don't see why that they would want to have a platform where we can't use their bandwidth without them getting a return because they make money on the advertising. So YouTube is free, it's a great platform. I'm going to still keep using it even if I get demonetized, but why would YouTube and Google shareholders want that when there are advertisers willing to spend money to be in those those advertising positions. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Once my channel is removed from the YouTube Partner Program, uh, I won't make it another cent, but nor will YouTube. Anyway, let's look at the, uh, the figures. All right, here's my channel for all of its lifetime from the 1st of April April Fool's Day 2007 to now and watch time 300,000 minutes uh, estimated revenue over that time 520 bucks that's 520 bucks over 11 years I'm making a couple of bucks a month like it's nothing I don't I don't need that money uh, but I do have some videos which have uh, you know 48,000 minutes of watch time this one has a hundred thousand views and that one's not even a special video, it's just about a stick insect that I found in my backyard. So I made $100 off that video, which is great, over 11 years. Uh, but I won't have the opportunity to make that money anymore if I happen to find some other weird thing that the internet just happens to like. Um, so yeah, they're, they're my figures, that's my, that's my whole revenue. I have a thousand uh, subscribers, just over a thousand uh, 100 subscribers so I meet I meet the criteria to keep going in the YouTube um, partner program but I don't have the watch time which I think is uh, I don't know 40,000 hours a year or something like that um, so even though I've been on the platform for 11 years I'm, I'm out yeah check this out this is my community standing copyright status zero strikes community guidelines zero strikes and all green bars and everything. I mean, it's... Uh, there's nothing controversial about my channel whatsoever. And you can see I'm partner verified as well, so I've got a partner verified tick. So yeah, it just seems a little little weird, and you know, it doesn't matter to me too much, but I just wanted to, uh, to raise those points. There are a lot of YouTubers now who are... who are just putting up junky content, really. It's like, uh they feel the need to extend their videos to 10 minutes or they um, feel the need to suddenly do really dull blogs instead of doing one really good video every now and then and this is the kind of unintended consequence that the changes at YouTube have made so it seems weird that 
YouTube would want to lose money on my channel from now on because even though I make a few bucks off my videos, YouTube makes a lot of money off my videos too over time and all the other small creators. So anyway, that's my little rant. Catch you later, bye.